Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and we are picking up in this video where we left off in the last one where we created a node in under 10 minutes. Uh, as you are probably aware, that node was not connected to any post data. So in this video, I'm on a different node here. The last node, the drive that I had connected has no post data created, so I'm still going to need to generate that post data. This node does have a drive that has post data. I completed a few steps because I wanted to verify that it actually had post data because I'm terrible at organizing my drives. Uh, but it's I'll go through all the steps anyways, even though I won't be necessarily ex executing them. So we'll start with lsblk-f, and that will see that we have this sdb drive. This is going to be the drive that I'm using for smashing. You can do df-h if you want to kind of see you know the sizes if you're looking for a specific sized drive. Ooh, look at that, 18 terabytes. Anyways, uh, yeah, this one's uh, about 1.7 terabytes of uh, data here. It's a 27 uh, SU post data size. And I've already got it mounted, but what you're going to want to do is run that first lsblk-f, and you're going to want to grab the UUID, copy that. And then you're going to want to do sudo nano etc fs tab, and that's going to allow us to create a mount uh, for this. So when you reboot your computer, it automatically mounts. You're going to be just doing uuid equals, paste in that uuid. We're going to be mounting this to media post data. ext4 is what I have my drive formatted to. If you have formatted it to some other uh, format, then you know put in whatever format you need there. Defaults, no A time, no fail. Those are the ones that I always use for these post data drives so that if for some reason I pull it out and I try and boot my VM, it doesn't fail to load. And then zero and zero for the final two options. It's best to keep a tab, just do a tab between each of these. Um, to keep it looking good. So control X, Y, and then enter to save that. And then you would want to do sudo makedir media post data because that's where we said the mount point was going to be. And then you'll do sudo mount dash AV. A for just to mount everything that's in the FS tab file and a V for verbose so that we can see what's going on. And you can see it's already mounted for me, but for you, you'd see slash media slash post data successfully mounted, hopefully. Uh, you can then change the ownership if you want so you don't have to run sudo when you are running your post, uh, when you're running your node. Uh, I typically do that change ownership but I have this one set up a little bit differently. So I'm going to leave it as is. And then all we're doing from now is setting up Go Space Mesh for our post data. So we're going to go into the Go Space Mesh folder and we want to modify the mainnet.json, uh, config mainnet.json file. And what we're going to do is and this will be in the description. Uh, we're just going to copy paste a uh, smashing section in here. So comma, paste, and I know I have 27, so I'm going to leave that. Max file size, I did two Gibibyte files. If you did four or any other number, you'll have to update this to whatever you have. This should be, um, if you're using your CPU, this is just the default provider. I recommend using the CPU for a node. 27, and then I do 144 and 8. Uh, I have a profiler video if you're not sure what to put for your proving ops, uh, or actually just your nonces and your threads specifically, you can check out that profiler video. That should help you out. Uh, but 8 and 144, I have eight, 8 threads for this VM, so that's why I'm using 8. You don't want to use more threads than you have. And then 144 is a nonce that I'm okay with using. Control X, Y, enter to save that. Now we're going to start our node, or in this case, I'm going to stop my node. So I've got my node running here. 
I'm going to stop my node and start it again. That way it loads the new config. So control C to stop that. And then copy this code here. And we will do control V. Boom, we are starting our node and now we've pointed it to our post data folder. Now it does take a minute and by minute, I mean probably like five or six minutes. Um, I haven't generated a post app bin for this file yet. So it's going to go through the proof generation process. And because it's a new node, it's going to be an empty challenge, which means it's not the poet window, but I'm going to be creating a proof. And this is just going to be to start uh, the poet registration process. So today's Saturday, poet window is actually tomorrow. So tomorrow this will be registering with poet. I won't have to generate a proof or anything. Then I got to wait another two weeks for the next poet window. And at that point, uh, I will generate a proof during the window and I will create an ATX and submit it. So we are looking good. This node will be starting here in a second. I don't know if I'll keep the video going. Yeah, just so you can see, I'll speed it up. So just bear with me for a second here. We'll speed up the video and I'll show you when it starts to do its smashing. All right, so we just saw the gRPC booted up here. That typically means we are about to start smashing. Uh, it took maybe three, four minutes, um, but what you're gonna wanna do is kind of wait for this gRPC stuff to show. That means it's basically starting uh, the real stuff here. So we should see uh, the smashing uh, post app bin. So basically, if you haven't watched my timeline video, I highly recommend doing it. But what, what we're at right now is I've completed my post data. I've set up my node. I've attached my node to my post data and it needs to generate an initial proof, which it's going to do here in about a second. And it's going to take for this drive about five hours to complete, which is totally fine. I have 12 hours to really generate these proofs. Um, so five hours is fine. It's only going to take a couple minutes for the proof of work part. So when you're generating a proof, there's typically a proof of work part, and then there is a uh, proof of space part. So the proof of work part, you're doing some CPU uh, work, whereas the proof of space, you're doing disk IO. So we can see uh, generating proof with proof of work flags. So we should see my CPU spike. So let's go Control B C to create a new uh, tab here, new window. And we'll do H top. And actually, we don't see it yet. We'll give it a second. Uh, but all my CPUs should be basically just getting maxed out here as soon as they, there we go. So it's, it's kicking in. Here we go. 100% CPU utilization for all eight of my threads here. And that's what I want. This is going to finish in just maybe 10 minutes. I'm not going to, of course, well, maybe, you know what, I'll, I'll bring you back when this has finished so you can see. So, but just keep in mind right now, we're generating our first post, uh, our first proof, our initial proof, then we'll have a post app bin file. So hang tight. We'll come back. Hopefully this makes sense, uh, but uh, I think it might be useful to see kind of like the whole process when you connect a new post data to your node. So I'll bring you back in a little bit here. All right, we are back. I actually it went so quick, I didn't even realize that it had happened, but it took from, let's see, 7.43 to 7.49. So it took me six minutes to finish the proof of work part here. That's the stage one. The second part of this is going to be the proof of space. And, and keep in mind, the proof of work part is going to 5x in time it takes in uh, about five months. So uh, you can read up more on that, but basically it's taking me six minutes now and five months, like after Epoch 11, it's going to take me 30 minutes, which no big deal. The proof of space part doesn't actually change anything. So. Uh, let's take a look and see what we're doing here as far as speed. So I'm going to 
you can see my CPU has basically gone down in usage because now I'm just doing disk IO. So let's control C, sudo IO top. And we can see I'm disk reading at about 120 uh, megabytes per second. Honestly, this is a SATA 3 hard drive from 2010 and it's only two terabytes and I've basically filled it up. So this is about what I expect. It's going to be five, five and a half hours to complete this. But again, I have 12 hours to do it in. So even if I need to go through it twice, if my nonces aren't high enough to find the proof the first time through, I can read this whole disk over again and it will be fine. So I am not worried about this really slow disk read speed. It's probably going to drop down to about 90 megabytes per second by the time it's done. So I can expect about five and a half hours for these two terabytes to be read. Uh, so at this point, I'm really just waiting for this to finish. It's going to take five hours. I'm not going to keep you around for it. But basically, as soon as this finishes generating a proof, it's good. I just wait for the poet window. That's it. Uh, there's nothing else that I need to do. It's on basically autopilot for the rest of its life. I, I never really have to mess with it unless I need to do maintenance or update my uh, node version and all that's super simple to do. I have a video exactly on how to update your node version. Uh, it's very easy, but that'll end this video. Hopefully it was helpful. I don't think I've done one where it's kind of been, you know, the whole process and having like the post data and kind of showing what happens when you connect the post data to the node for the first time and it creates the post dot bin. Uh, but I think, you know, this is a useful thing to see. That being said, that'll be the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.